Welcome back to this uh, channel. This is uh, AutoCAD for Mechanical Engineering. This is lesson number 31. In this lesson, we'll uh, make the practice number 11 and we'll just make this uh, drawing here. So we, just, we still talk about the isometric drawing. And uh, this one is uh, a little bit more complex and we just start going deeper and deeper in uh, isometric drawing. Let's just go ahead and make this uh, drawing and we're gonna make also inside of this uh, template, of this um, isometric, of this uh, title block. So if you have any doubt, as uh, wh whoever this said, just go back to lesson number 21 and 22. And if, if you still have doubt, please just comment there and uh, it will be a pleasure to answer and talk how to help in uh, solve this issue. So we just uh, make this drawing and uh, just stay tuned and let's uh, do Together, we have the same one here with the um, dimension, and we have here uh, this. Uh, the, the height will be 60, and uh, this one would we don't have here the size, but we we need to make calculation from this one. We know that uh, the from this point to that point is 120 minus 72 will be 48 plus 12. 60 mean that from this point to this point is a 60 and we'll and we'll start making this drawing from the top and then going going down let's just go to our autocad here and then make autocad the first thing we need to do here is we need to first we need to activate the isometric drawing just come here click it is already activated okay and we'll start making the drawing from the top just uh, shows the top here we can also come here and then click to, to the top just make the drawing here the first one we saw is a uh, 12 enter second one is a uh, 50 enter and then we we have here 60 and then uh, 50 and the last one 12 so next step uh, we're gonna here make a copy click copy select line enter we're gonna copy this point to this point and also that point and also we're gonna cop we're gonna cop this line here enter from this point I'm gonna have here 12 enter will be from this point here will be from this point 12 okay good and uh, next step we're gonna make here some trim gonna trim the line that we don't want so we're gonna trim this line here Next one, we'll make here the height from this point here. We'll just activate the line, then come here, click, and then we just need to change the position. Just type F5. Okay, that's the one we want. And then we'll just put here the, the height, which is uh, 60. Enter. Now we can uh, make some cops of this line here. We'll just uh, copy. Select line, enter, then cop from this point to that point, also to this point, and also to this point. And just need to delete line that we don't want, we don't want the line here, we just go trim, select the cut edge, enter, and then delete the line. Good. So let's just uh, go ahead to our drawing. That's the drawing here. We just make this line here. We, can, we make also this line, that line, this line. So this line from this point, that point is uh, 60 minus 12. I mean that will be 48. Let's just go ahead and make that line here. I'm gonna make here this line. I'm gonna make from, from uh, this point here down. 48 
goods and uh, you can also make this line here so we know that this line is a uh, 50 okay and then just come close just go back just go back here I'm gonna make okay we're gonna make this one here the line 48 and then also here will be 50 and then I'm gonna come also to this point here okay so next one I'm gonna also continue making this line I'm gonna have this one is uh, change the position f5 we have here 72 enter and then we have I'm gonna change the position here f5 we have 50 enter and then we have also here to the top f5 we have 12 enter and then we can just join with this line here what will be right right here good next one i'm gonna also make the line from uh, from this point here and also have here 12 the height and then uh, join to gonna change the position f5 okay good i'm gonna change i'm gonna join it right right here good enter now next one i'm gonna make this line here from this point that point good and uh i'm gonna also join this line i'm gonna join this line here from this point to that point and then just move a five that position we can just click anywhere okay that's good and then we can just here make the trim and cut the edge will be this one here enter and then just delete good so drawing is almost done and the next step will be make the the sequel which will be ellipse right here to make the ellipse let's just go back to our drawing here again in our drawing we have so this this one this ellipse here it is in the the center will be uh between this this center will be between 30 with this line here 30 and then 25 okay let's just go to the drawing and make the that center point to make that center point we need to to copy we need to copy this line here we saw is a 13 from this this side enter i'm gonna copy from here not that position f5 okay that position we want and we have there the distance of 30 and and also we have another cop of this line enter from this point to that one is 25 enter okay so we have here the, the center point which is this one here now we need to make the ellipse make the ellipse just come here and we need to select axis end this one here and then we need to select the iso so know that the diameter is 25 mean that the radius is 12.5 just go to the drawing just make it here in the center which is right right here this midpoint click not that one f5 to change that's the one we want and then specify the diameter or the radius okay so right now is the radius is 12.5 okay that's the one that's the, the, the radio next step is uh, making also the one down just uh, come here to copy 
select this one, what you want. Enter, I'm gonna see from the center point down, not this position, F5. That's the one we want. Come here, put the cursor here uh, for a while, also here for a while, and then just go. That's the one we want. Then click, okay, enter. Now we can um, trim the line that we don't want, just select the cutting edge, this two one here. Enter and then delete this one. So our drawing is uh, finished now. We just uh, delete the contract line that we don't want, this two line here, and we can see that the drawing is complete. That the way we we do and the dimension is uh, the same thing as we saw in uh, this lesson. Just go go back to lesson number 19, how to make dimension. And also we talk about how to make dimension in a isometric drawing in lesson number 27, I believe. And, uh, and, uh, and I will also leave the link in, in uh, this video so that you can go back and see how to make they mention here. Thank you very much for watching and please uh, don't forget to uh, put a like and a comment and also to subscribe